Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to deploy the NSX manager. So let me log in. Root. My very secure password. Um, so let's go to vCenter and host and clusters. And as you can see here in my management and edge cluster, I already well deployed the NSX manager twice. So I will do it a third time right now just to show you how it's done. I will do it on this ESX server. So I already downloaded the, the OVF file from the VMware website. And all that's left is to deploy it. So right now, let's just select the file, the OVA file, and hit next. Well, it contains extra configuration options, so we should just accept that. And here we will see the version, the download size, um, and when it, the size on disk when it's thin provisioned or thick provisioned, and the actual version again. That's it. Next, well, we should actually read this. I already read it, and I, uh, I'm okay with it. So let's accept it. Hit next. Type in the name of the VM, which is going to be lab nsxman03 for me. I want to implement it in data center E. Let's hit next. Select the data store. I always select in provisioning for testing purposes. This is my management network, VM network, so uh, the management interface is going to be on that network. Let's hit next and let's type in a password vm aware vm aware very secure password vm aware and vm aware so the network settings uh, let's assign a host name which is going to be the same as the virtual machine name an sx man ip address that i reserved for this on my management network is Um, 8182, yes. It's a slash 24 network. The default gateway is 254. And the DNS, if you have an internal DNS server, which I have not, um, you can you should use that one. And I'm just going to use Google's Google one. So that the extra services is if you want to enable SSH, yes, I want to do that. To do that, and uh, just for well, extra verification options later on. And the NTP server is on a different network of mine. And it's this IP address. So all of this is okay. Let's hit next, and you will see a summary of everything that well I just typed in. And I think we're okay here. And let's hit finish. As soon as I did that, you will see that it's actually initializing the OVF deployment and it's actually, well, starting to build it and deploy it. Um, this will take a while, so I'll pause the video and come back when it's finished. And we're back. As you can see, the N6 Manager 03 is fully deployed now. And right now, yeah, as you can see the summary here. Um, I'm just going to power it on and see what happens. So let's look at the console. And I actually gave it an IP address. I think it was 82 from top of my head. So let's ping that. Let's see when, it's, when it actually comes alive. Oh, there you go. And it came alive here. And I see the login here. So let's close this one. And right now I should be able to go to the website 
A2. And there you go. Click proceed. And here is my VMware in the six management window. Let me just log in with admin and my secure password VM where login and never want to do this, well at least not now. And you can see well the different options here. Let's just go for the summary and then you can see the CPU, the memory usage, the storage that it's actually using. And you see that the management service here is not started which is not needed for now um, now you can see the IP address the version the uptime and well this is uh, the, this is actually well the full deployment and the next movie I'm going to show you how to actually make it work together with the vCenter server which is eventually needed for uh, well, deploying the N6 components.